So how long have you had this one then? Getting on 30 years. 30 years? So how did you get, get hold of it? Was it in a coffee shop or something, or has it come over no, from America? I always love them in coffee shops. Right. I wanted to buy a pinball machine, which I'd seen advertised. Oh, right. And when I went to the gentleman's house, this was standing in the corner. So in the coffee shops, there would have been a lot of these. Yes. Every coffee shop had one. In those days, we didn't go to clubs. So how, how often do these need a really, service? Really, they need a service every year. Every year? But most people believe it a couple of years. And you've had this for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> We've had it for 30 years. If you leave it with us, we'll get it fully restored and working. Lights flashing. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. No. You shouldn't be making that buzzing noise as soon as I press a letter and a number button. It should select the mechanism and it should start spinning around. I've taken the motor off and it's really difficult to turn the spindle, which is this piece at the end. That tells me that it's seized up inside. It should be nice and free. It definitely needs to be cleaned and be lubricated. So we've given this a clean up. And it's running much freer now. Should be fine to go back in. I love restoring jukeboxes because it's something different to do every day. And there's real satisfaction when you've restored something that most people think looks ready for the tip. The end result is stunning. I'm now going to put the amplifier and power supply back into the jukebox. Uh, hopefully, it will have speeded up the motor, the drive motor, so it functions properly. It's made a clonk. Yeah, the carousel's turning much faster now. So it should stop when it gets to this pin. It should lift the record up, which it's doing. Now the Wurlitzer is starting to get its mojo back, Lawrence gives it a well-earned drink. Right, it's time to get the button bank out now. This 1957 Wurlitzer 2104 is one of the most collectible from the era. Fully working models can change hands for several thousand pounds. All of the contacts look really dirty. I'm going to completely clean everything there, and then hopefully, the signal will go through when you press the buttons to start the jukebox working. Right, putting the button bank back in. Oh, that's good stuff. Yeah, a bit of vinegar. Don't go miss with that. Oh, that's amazing. That just looks so much better than it's done for the last 30 years. It's gleaming, shining, the buttons are white and pristine. The whole thing is just so much better. It really is looking like it used to in the 50s. We'll turn it on and see what happens. Oh, look at that. That's the first time it has lit up for ages. And it just looks so wonderful. It looks exactly as it should. Now, the big test. What's it going to sound like? Listen to that, it's playing again. I never expected a renovation as good as this. I'm so grateful and so lucky to have had the chance to get it back to how it should be.